Thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm really glad you made it today. Thanks so much. So here's the headline. Spending plan for vets programs gets Senate support, but fight looms. Now what? Let's jump into it. Hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe if you haven't. Share with a friend. I really appreciate it. And let's go. All right. Senate appropriations on Thursday, which was actually yesterday, advanced, uh, advanced plans for $320 billion in Veterans Affairs spending in fiscal 2024, setting up a showdown with their House counterparts, not on budget levels, but on social issue fights attached to veterans program planning. The measure adopted by a bipartisan unanimous vote in the Senate Appropriations Committee includes a roughly 6% increase in funding for VA operations next fiscal year. That hike matches the levels outlined in the debt limit deal negotiated by the White House and Republican leaders last month, as well as the spending outlined from the House Appropriations Committee passed earlier this month. Senate Appropriations Chairwoman uh, said that the measure provides veterans with the support we owe them and the support they need. The measure includes $16.2 billion for mental health care, up 17% from fiscal 2023 levels, $3.1 billion for homeless prevention efforts, up 16%, and $1.3 billion for women's health initiatives, up 50%. What the Senate measure does not include is language regarding abortion services at VA facilities or restrictions on transgender medical care. Those issues and others were inserted into the White House version of the budget bill last week over the objections of House Democrats. Republican leaders uh, Re Republican leaders of the House committee said that the move, the moves are needed to rein in political posturing by department leaders. Language in the House bill, the House budget bill, would ban VA from providing abortion services, something they have been doing since last fall, as well as medical care for transgender veterans. VA has promised to provide gender confirmation surgery in the future, but has not conducted any operations as of yet. Medical staff do provide hormone therapy and other transgender specific care. None of those social issues, none of those social issue fights were included in the Senate draft adopted by the full committee after only a few minutes of debate. Uh, the chairwoman said the, that she hopes to move the VA and other budget bills in an orderly and timely way to ensure federal programs don't face the threat of a possible partial shutdown this fall. Since the spending totals in the House and Senate drafts largely match, the biggest obstacle is completing the VA appropriations work appears to be finding ways to reconcile the or reconcile the controversial limits on department services preferred by House Republicans. Both measures, mo boy, can't talk. Both measures are expected to be voted on by their respective chambers in the coming weeks. Then head to interchamber negotiations for the rest of the summer. In past years, the VA budget has typically been one of the earliest spending bills finished because of the bipartisan support for veterans care and benefits. And with that, that go ahead. Uh, that will go ahead and conclude that article. I'll go ahead and put it in there again. This is on Military Times, um, and again, the headline was "Spending Plan for Vets Programs Gets Senate Support But Fights Loom." So we'll see what happens. Hopefully, we can get our stuff taken care of. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.